Hey, what is going on guys? It is Unknown Skills here coming at you with a, another YouTube video. And before we get into the video, I know you guys are probably going to say, what, what is this? This is a GTA 5 video. You don't normally do videos like these. And I haven't been able to do videos like these for a while because, you know, I, uh, there hasn't really been glitches for me to post that have been out. But there is a um, new thing that came out not too long ago called the creator mode glitch that can make you have dope ass looking modded outfits in GTA 5. And I didn't want to do this on my, uh, my main account, which this is my main account, but my main GTA account. So I just decided to do this on my Unknown Skills account. So guys, and the second thing is, hey, is that I have a cold. So sorry if I sound a bit sick or sound a bit bad. It's because I've been trying to fight this uh, cold all day. And I have um, been really sick in the past week. And I kind of said I would stop uploading Don't... videos, but you know, this just came out and I just learned about it. And it's really cool glitch. I've tried it for almost every account I have for GTA and it's a pretty cool outfit. So guys, before we get into this video, what this video is about, it's about getting pretty much looking like a police officer and getting the police belt. As most people know in the GTA 5 community, a lot of people like to roleplay as cops in this game. And for some reason, GTA is so stupid not to give us police outfits. So um, pretty much, uh, let's just get into this video. Give me a minute, guys, real quick. I gotta go do something. So I will be back. Alright, sorry guys, I had to go um, do something on my computer. So guys, let's get into this video. So to first how to start this, you guys want to have no outfits saved. And before we actually start this, guys, you guys got to understand if you're going to be doing this on a main account or something to try to get this outfit, pretty much this glitch will delete any outfit that's on your main account. So uh beware of you know people who have outfits personally saved or something that have glitched items on it because that will get deleted so that's just a disclaimer before we start the video so let's get on to the video so what you guys want to do is that you want to have no saved outfits and you guys want to wear this called the sunbather or any one of these outfit standards and after you do that you guys want to press pause you guys want to go into online and you want to go to swap character and you need to make a new female character. So after you make a new female character, you pretty much just want to go to the club, get the components for the glitch. And this is way easier than the um, director mode glitch. And as you guys know, that director mode glitch gets really stupid sometimes. And I'm so glad people have been searching the way to do this. But I'm just saying for most people who have a second uh, character, you got to delete that character and make a female character. So for anyone who has a lot of things on their second or second character in the game, you're probably going to have to delete it if you want to do this glitch. And it's better if your main character is up above a level 120. So your other main character, your second main character can um, get all you know all the stuff that she needs because you know she won't be a high enough rank so after you guys get the character you just want to take a picture and then you guys just want to go on to online and after you guys get into an online session you guys want to go over to a clothing store and that's where we'll start to get the components and also we probably will have to go to an ammunition to get body armor but i'll check in the beginning before i go to the clothing store if i have body armor this glitch, pretty much what it is, is it's like a it's like a cool modded running gun outfit. If you guys really like modded running gun outfits, it's pretty cool. And then we're also going to show you how to get two different type of police outfits that you can do for role playing. This is really cool if you're playing with your friends or you want to show off your cool outfits. Um, if you guys do like outfit shows or something, or if you guys like do something level ones or lines of or lines like that, you could um. To show your friends that you have some pretty cool modded outfits and they're gonna like they're gonna freak out and ask you how did you get that and uh, you can just tell them send them a video or just don't tell them in general so guys what you want to do is that you guys want to head up or head over to a clothing store uh, it actually kind of sucks because I have to restart the session right now because this clothing store in the game is glitched so if you guys actually start up a female character and the clothing store is not there, it's because the clothing store for some reason gets glitched when you swap your character or make a new character. So if 
like the clothing store icon is not showing up on your map and if you go into the clothing store and no one's there you can't access anything just start up a new session it does it will get you a bit mad because you know gta needs to fix this soon and they're probably going to patch this glitch in like the next update or the next kind of patch notes that they're going to have soon so we just gotta wait until we get into a new session and i will see you guys when we get into that new session Okay guys, we just loaded into the new session and we just need to go over to the clothing store. First, I gotta check if we have body armor. And we actually do automatically have body armor, so this is perfect for the glitch. So guys, after you guys make it to the clothing store, guys, um, sorry, I gotta get into the clothing store real quick. You're gonna kinda hear a bit of movement, that's just because I'm trying to fix my mic. So after you guys get in the clothing store, you guys, the first thing you want to do is go up oh, to leather jackets, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I thought... And you want to look for kind of like a really fancy leather jacket. I'm not sure if it's in this section. I just learned about this glitch. Yes. So you guys either want to get, you guys want to get the teal deep belt or deep belt jacket. Good. And after nice. you get that, you guys want to go into gun running. Are you going to go into gun running t-shirts and you want to get the blue digital t-shirt after you get that you want to back out you want to go into your inventory body armor and you want to put on uh some standard armor and after you do that you guys want to go into the jeans section are you guys want to go into the pants section and go to jeans and you want to find the jeans that have sm they're like small jeans but they have like little leggings at the end it might take me a while to find this because i'm not used to having a girl character um, so give me a minute. This might take me a while. It actually might be in shorts. Yep, it's actually in shorts. So guys, what you guys want to go? You want to get? You want to go into the shorts and you want to get the black denim and stockings. And yeah, after you get that on, you want to back out, out okay. and you want to go into the shoe section. And after you go into the shoot section, you want to go into however you pronounce these, and you want to get the aqua camo oh, shoes. Good. And after you get that, you want to save that as a first outfit. Name it like. I'm just gonna name it our running gun and after you do that what you guys want to do after you save that outfit You want to go back into your pants and then you want to go to utility pants and get the black battle pants And after you do that you guys want to go into uh, The you guys want to go into the shirt section and you guys want to go back into work jackets Are you guys want to go into work jackets? You guys can either get the green closed one or you guys can get the black one the green one gives you gray, or you guys could actually use any one of these that are close to get a different, unique outfit. Let's just go with the black All one the in others. this video to get a uh, better look on how it looks. And we're actually going to keep the shirt. So we want to save this, and let me just, uh, at, or you want to save this as an outfit, and I'm just going to call it Cop. So after you save that, after you save both of the outfits, let me see, or I'll show you guys here in a minute. I'll do even a full 360 real quick. This is exactly what you need. Oh, for some reason it did not save with the body armor on. Give me a minute. You want to save this outfit with the body armor on. And then after you get, you know, your two outfits, you get the RNG outfit and you get the cop outfit. You guys just want to press start. You want to go into online and you want to go into crater. And you guys want to start or you guys want to make a land race. And after you guys like, okay, so you want to go to create a race and then you want to do land race. So pretty much it's going to tell you what you want to name your race and stuff. I would prefer you guys to have just whatever, like what random name. I'm just going to name everything Y and take random pictures. So, and then you guys just need to take this. I would do one lap so you can make uh, the, you, so you can make the um, thing easier. So guys, you want to place a trigger real quick. This is just to where, wherever you are, wherever people will find it to start this race, even though this race will not exist here after we do the glitch. You guys just want to take a lobby camera. And this is the most important part. You guys want to make the race over 73 miles long. If it's longer than 73 miles long, it won't work. 
So guys, pretty much what you guys just need to do is just make it go into a straight line of checkpoints. And as you can see in the corner, it says lap length, and you want to get that up to 73. If it's higher than 73, then the glitch won't work. So guys, make sure you guys get up to 73. And as you can see here, you just got it up to 73. And then after that, you guys just want to test your race. And after you test your race, it will tell you, oh, you finished, are you finished done your race? Are you finished your test race? All you guys want to do is just press start after that. And then you guys just want to go into swap character. And then we're going to delete the female character that we just put the outfits on. Don't worry about it. You guys are probably saying, oh, you're not at that part yet. But we'll all get more into it when we get to that part. So I'm about to finish the race here in a minute, guys. So just hold on a couple more seconds and I will tell you guys what to do. So most people think that you gotta press start before you hit the finish line, but you actually don't. So actually when you hit the finish line, it says you've completed your test race and do you want to return to creator? You just wanna click okay. But right when you get up into the above your race, you just wanna press start. You wanna go into online and you wanna go to choose character. After you go into choose character, it might take a couple of seconds before it goes into the uh, screen to where it lines you up. You just want to delete your female character. And then after you delete your female character, you just want to go into campaign. And then right when you go into campaign, the second you spawn into campaign, you want to press start and quickly go into online. Because if, you're, if you don't pick online very soon, it will not, like the glitch won't work. So guys, as you see here, we're just going to delete our female character, and after we delete it, it's going to take a couple of seconds, deleting character, you know, blah, 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 it's trying to get it off of your console, or sorry, it tells you not to turn off your console. Sometimes the glitch will, or sometimes the glitch won't work, sometimes, like, your game will freeze at this point, but don't worry about it, all you got to do is just restart the steps. So after you see here, we just delete the fe our female character, you just want to go to return to Grand Theft Auto Online. And right when you get into campaign, the second you spawn into campaign, you want to press start and be very quick about this. Because if you last more than 10 to 15 seconds in campaign, the glitch will not work. So after you guys, you know, it says quitting session and you guys spawn into campaign, as you can see here, the clouds are moving and I'm about to be spawned in. The second you guys are spawned in and have the option to press, you know, the option to press start, you guys just want to straight up go into Darling. an online session. As you guys can see here, just go into online session. I prefer a closed session so no one messes with you. And after you start up that closed session, you just want to go to an ammunition because most people get this glitch wrong and mess it up because they try to activate the clothing in their house or in their apartment or something. But you guys actually want to do it at an ammunition so your outfits do not mess up. I also prefer you guys not to get into any cars because I've gotten into cars and that has messed up the glitch before. So guys, as you can see, we're just joining GTA 5 online. And you just got to give it a couple of seconds and eventually we will spawn into our house and then we're just going to have to run to the ammunition. If you guys don't know what the ammunition is, you just guys got to run to a gun store. So as you can see, we're loading here in a minute and I'm so glad that my house is not too far away from an ammunition. Um, as you can see here, we're spawning in, uh, like I said, to, to make this glitch actually work, you want to go into the ammunition. You don't want to go into your closet or go into like your apartment's like clothing section and like equip the clothing from there because if you do, the glitch will not work. So guys, you just want to exit whatever you are. I wouldn't take a car to be honest. I wouldn't even take a bike. Normally you would have to run to the ammunition. And that's what I'm going to be doing here in a second. You will see that I'm running to the ammunition. It's not too far. I'm going to go into first person so I can run a bit faster. So guys, pretty much after you equip the outfit, you can do whatever you guys want with the outfit. It doesn't matter. Like I said, normally I would just show my friends and they would be like, whoa, how did you get this outfit? And, you know, pretty much I wouldn't tell them or if they really want to know, I'd show them the video on how I did it and show them the components. So guys, I hopefully, hopefully you guys can do a lot of cool stuff with these outfits, like, because I know I'm going to be doing a lot of cool things in the future. So guys, after you get to the ammunition, you guys want to go into this pr or a specific spot, which says, bra or press, you know, the button to browse outfits. After you do that, you want to go into your saved outfits. And as you can see here, here's your outfits. 
and you can switch between this. Apparently, sometimes the R or sometimes the outfits won't transfer like the RNG, but as you guys can see here, the cop outfit did transfer right here and you have the police belt. So as you guys will see that you guys have invisible hands, which is pretty cool. You guys can keep this, but if you guys are doing, you know, like role play type stuff, um, what I would do is that I would put on some gloves. The one downside is, is that putting on gloves, you won't be able to take off the gloves again. For some reason, they'll just be stuck on your hands. But there you guys go. That's how you guys get the police outfit and also the RNG outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to also put on that bell notification and tell me what you want to see next in a future video. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you all in the next one.